Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Just wanted to say thank you to all of you who are staying caught up with the Axis deer hunting series we did in Texas. Also, thanks to everyone who kind of chimed in on yesterday's discussion when it came to hunting over bait. A lot of people had different points of views, which is totally fine, totally acceptable. Uh, there wasn't that many like super harsh, really rude, negative comments. So thanks to you who engaged on the discussion and the topic. It brought up a lot of different things uh, like the use of dogs, the use of tree stands, the use of scents or technology, things like that. So there's so many things we can really discuss to when it comes to what's fair chase or what do you consider hunting. Um, but again, for me, as long as you're having fun, you're doing it legally and you enjoy it, cheers to you. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video and thanks again for watching. Sounds like we've got some pigs coming in. We're in a new, a new area this morning and there's access to your ant hogs. I can hear some hogs down there. I just saw a couple running around. Pretty sweet set. Well, that's it for the morning sit. I never did see any axis deer. I just heard that one blowing behind me. She could probably smell me. I saw some pigs, but they never came in. But that's a really, really cool setup because you're overlooking this little drainage. Kind of like a ridge or a creek bottom down in there. Just super cool, but it's 8 a.m. and as usual, we typically don't sit any longer than that. Probably go back to the hotel and get some rest, but it's awesome morning. It's a little cooler this morning, so that was nice. Nada. Nada. Those pigs would never come in. Really? Yeah, they're down there, you know, rooting and hitting rocks and stuff, but they never, never commit to come in. They're so freaking loud, aren't they? Yeah, they're loud. <laughs> this little creek bottom is pretty sweet super steep down there the blind I think is like 30 30 or 35 yards but with the angle compensation it's about 25 it's pretty steep those pigs are just just to the left there and those pigs are kind of up to the right I saw them running around a couple times but man, they're loud. All the time, so they sit up there and try and claw. It's dry. Yeah. I wonder, I heard it go off, but I, it wasn't as loud as normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. They're all good too. Oh, Stop the car. Another young one. Yep. Man, there is a pile in there. Oh, here's oh, another man, good one. De another decent one. Sorry, Bridget. <laughs> Don't own that piece. <laughs> See how they're a little darker? Mm-hmm. Those big bucks are cool. Check it out, guys. Jeff brought us down here to take a look at the Guadalupe River. Thought you guys would enjoy this. They say there's a 
Are they actually like a different bass? A Guadalupe, yeah, Guadalupe bass? Guadalupe bass. It's, it's like a spotted bass, same family. So it's not like a large mouth. It's not a small mouth. It's a no, it Guadalupe looks a lot bass. No, it's like a large mouth, but it's got different marks on it. What else is in here? I saw a bluegill. Catfish, bluegill. Oh, look, there's the bluegill right there. Yep. Look at these ginormous trees, too. These. These roots are way low, or the water's way low right now, exposing these big roots, but usually it says it's like two or three feet higher. Look at those giant trees. What are they called? Cypress trees. Cypress? Yep. I don't know, this They're place is pretty along cool. The, the Guadalupe River all the way down. This is beautiful. <laughs> this would be a fun place to fish. Anyways, guys, just wanted to show you the Guadalupe River. Check this out. They say a lot of people come come down, barbecue, float the river on tubes, kayak. But today there is nobody. Not on this section anyways. Welcome back guys. It is uh, it's probably about 4 p.m. Getting a little bit of an early start. Just thought I'd show this to you. This is a... Uh, this is where I sat the first morning. Bridget's going to sit here tonight because there's been pretty good activity from Axis Deer. But there's a barn right here on the property that's getting worked on. I showed you guys in the videos, um, I think a couple days ago. This is the, the fence in here. And then the main road right there. You can see that truck go by. But this property, I can't remember the acre, acreage on this property, but it's, it's small, but it's just large enough to hold a good amount of deer. But... Honestly, the piece we're hunting, which is right here and goes north, I think it's north, a lot of the deer are on other properties and then they're coming through and passing through. And um, that's what's crazy is like, I know a lot of people are, are gonna say, you know, why don't you spot and stalk them and stuff like that. And there's literally, if you push them off of this piece, they may not be back for days. Um, just kind of going back on that same conversation we had yesterday. This is really just the most effective way to hunt them Pull them out of this brush pull them out of this creek bottom on the other private property pull them to the property we can hunt That's what's so crazy about out here guys. This state Texas, you know um, is only 2% public land. So When you're competing with others for hunting and the deer you really are trying to pull them onto your piece It's really hard for these guys to try to manage a herd because once they jump the property line, they're fair game for anybody else who's hunting. So, again, the feeders are just the most effective way to pull the deer out of the brush, to pull them onto your small piece of property and give yourself an opportunity, uh, give yourself an opportunity to get one. So, that's what we're doing right now, is putting out some new feed. Bridget will be sitting in this tree stand right here, which is super cool, and regardless of shooting a deer or not, it is so fun to sit up in that oak tree watch the whitetail there's some great bucks out here um, love to come out here and hunt whitetails if we ever got the opportunity but you're really just hoping for a chance at a buck and when i sat this one opening day or first day of hunting not opening day that big buck came out from this brush came out here for about four seconds turned and gone and you can see how close that fence line is that's the other property it's probably where he went got the stealth cam so this is the uh, spot I shot my buck we've given it what like a day and a half rest yep. so let's see let's see wrong one huh we had the uh, stealth camera up on this one let's see what's coming through white tails galore whoa hey Ooh, whoa whoa hey, was that? hey there's a buck axis buck right there what day 25th that was today that was this, this morning. morning. 7 oh, a.m. Yeah, Bridget's <laughs> gonna be like, dang it. Gambled and lost. So that's cool. He was there this morning, just Getting a nice... for a while, 6.58. Yep. He's mixed in with the whitetails, just like the one that came in that I shot. Man, he was there forever. Yeah, he went right to the center too. Isn't Still that funny? Still there. Night time. Pretty slow in the night. Coyote? A coyote. <laughs> Mangy Skinny. looking thing. Holy smokes. These whitetail out here are so pretty. Their coats are super sleek right now. Summer coat. I'm sure they don't get much of a winter coat. That's a nice coat. Yeah. yeah. But man, they've got little tiny bodies. Oh, look at that thing. Any coyote hunters out there? What Ooh. in the world? Is that the one I shot? Dude, that's the one I shot. 
It is, isn't it? Oh yeah. my gosh, that's I mean, awesome. Yeah, that's a cool photo. 104 degrees. 104. Yeah. Watch, he goes right to the center of that. Oh. that. That's the only picture we got of him. Well, shoot, at least it's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have that's to send cool. that to you. Yeah, we got the stealth cam picture of my buck. That's that awesome. That is awesome. I was telling Jeff, which by the way, if you haven't been watching, that's Jeff right there. I was telling him like, man, I don't know if I really care to, to shoot another axis deer. He's like, dude, you better, if a doe comes in, you better shoot one. He said, he would either keep the meat or he would send it uh, up to some friends that are just literally begging for it and uh, like I said before that's the purpose of this property this farm property allowing them to hunt here is that they don't want the axis deer either so that's crazy to me because I don't consider myself someone who just loves to shoot things especially if I'm not gonna eat the meat but uh, they have plenty of people that want access deer meat, so if a doe comes in, I guess I'll have a decision to make, but if I tell him that I let one walk, he's probably not gonna be too happy with me. That happened to me last time I came to Texas. I caught a baby pig, a hog, just kinda ran it down, and uh, I didn't wanna kill it, so I let it go. The landowner was not happy with me. He said, you're not welcome here anymore. I mean, he's kinda joking, but half-heartedly being very serious just a different game out here especially with these non-native species and these uh, animals that just wreck the place all right guys here is the way I set up in this blind is I got a tripod which is for the camera that's in my hand right now and then I typically have my GoPro I'll spin it around to face me I have my binoculars a drink my backpack my phone sunglasses right here but I'm a left-handed shooter so I can literally sit in this little seat pull back right here and not even have to move to get a really good shot so I'm gonna throw the uh, tripod shoe on the camera get it set up and uh, it's just a countdown from now but it's well over 100 degrees inside this thing <laughs> it's 512 All right guys, that's a, that's a night. Didn't see any axis deer tonight. I sat there just a little bit past uh, what I'd be comfortable shooting. They say out here, these guys and some of the locals are like, the whitetail are dumb cons compared to the axis deer. The axis deer typically use um, or seem to pay attention to the whitetail. So, um, they'll just kind of watch what they do But they told me like if the whitetail blow the axis deer probably aren't coming in and I had a couple of those blow Earlier in the day and sure enough No axis deer so Just hope for better luck tomorrow The goal now is really just to get Bridget an opportunity at one of these axis deer on any of the properties really it doesn't matter but fun night it's just watching the Whitetail is fun. Had a couple decent bucks come in. Eight pointer frames. 
and uh, they're pretty funny to watch the funnest thing is the little fawns they're so small they look fake there it is the original the one and only is it rubies or rube rudy rudy's rudy's i don't know anything cream corn <laughs> stinking smoked turkey brisket sausage it's about to go down Bridget's been wanting some Texas barbecue. So my whole life. This is where George Strait goes for barbecue. This is the original one. Yep. They say it's the best one. I'm gonna drag you guys to Rudy's. Show you what's up here in Texas. Meat by the pound. Oh, and yeah. serving, big serving. Is it connected to a gas station? It's, a cute it's always a it's gas a country store. Country store. Smell that? Out. Get some gas, smell get some that? food. Oh yeah, I can smell that. Pretty cool little spot. They're there. If you look, this is the line like where the floods were. Oh, really? At different times. So, kind of cool. Just flooded from rains? Yeah. Is there a river close by or what? Not too far away. Came out of the banks. Is that crazy? Those are the flood marks. I'm going to grab some sauce. I got the sauce. Okay, I'm going to grab some sauce. It's pretty interesting. It's like cafeteria style. I haven't eaten on tables like this for a long time. But here's what we got. Two sausage links, a pound of turkey, a quarter pound of beef brisket, potato salad, creamed corn, that could be the cobbler, and then pickles and onions. So this is our amazing Ooh. fine dining plate here. <laughs> Here's your plate. Yeah, this is your plate. Thank you. They got a variety of sauces and condiments. So they got oh, hot yeah. sauce, Bridget, I know you're gonna want that. Rudy's barbecue. You want some meat with your barbecue sauce there? Mm, so good. <laughs> so good. Use a little bit of barbecue sauce. I love Here's barbecue. A Bridget's display on her plate. Okay. Very well best done. Ever seen. This is my mixture. Mm -hmm. Gonna try it. What do you think? You think turkey's the best, huh? Mm -hmm. Right, here we go. Turkey, honest opinion. Wow. Wow. Good. Moist. So good. You can eat mouth. turkey like that while you're trying to diet and eat healthy. That'd be easy. The brisket's good. Guess you just there's a little bit of that in the barbecue sauce. I was really trying to eat healthy today because we've eaten out so much on this trip. But uh, what the heck? Some white bread with a sausage, some barbecue sauce, pickles and onions. Let's do it. We're in Rome. Mm. Sausage. That's what's up right there. We conquered that place. <laughs> we finished it with a little bit of peach cobbler. And what kind of ice cream was that? Pralines and cream. Yeah, I never heard of that. Ever. I had me some. It was good. Tomorrow's a new day. Start fresh. Eat clean. <laughs> this whole trip has been a complete failure. So, I did better today than I did the day before. Tomorrow's goal, do better tomorrow than I did today. If I do that each day, I'll get back on track.